My name is davidjr.com. Come here often? Yes. I hope I never sit behind you in the movie theater. Yeah. Oh, it's video. The season was all about Native Americana. It's Native American in spirit, but there's still a lot of like great American sportswear in it to like ground it, and um, a lot of beautiful girls to like show it at its Oh best. yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> I'm in love with her, by the way. <laughs> Hi. And her, and her, and her, and her, and her, and her. And her, and her. And all that. Wow. <laughs> the next biggest thing on the techno horizon and we're about to embrace it the way that we look at film television even billboards now and I really think that that's the future of the way that we look at things so I wanted to be one of the first American designers to embrace that technology in my collection I think seeing clothes really up close in 3d you're gonna really appreciate the artistry the beating the draping the steaming it's like being in, a, you know, being in a front row. Being aware of what's going on in the world, whether it's political, whether it's social, whether it's fashion, which you know is very, you know, whatever. I love it. That's my life. But being just being aware, being aware of the process is like how things land up in front of you. And I'm very involved in protecting animals in the fashion industry. They're very abused by the beauty, the fashion, the food industry. People don't realize how things end up in front of them. 
And I think now with technology, with the internet, is changing the world. I mean, just as you mentioned with Egypt, how the government has totally changed. It's like people are aware of the world and how things are. It's they're not things are not hidden before. We're not hidden behind religious stupidity and political anarchy. It's just, you know we are aware of what's going on in the world, and this is because of the internet. Tara and I laid out the worlds and designed the scenes, and uh, each world was a different challenge. We storyboarded out everything that Mark wanted, and consulted with the animators and figured out what was possible, and drew out the scenes, Wow! and then made them 3D. They were so complicated from the like computer issues, to just, just the whole thing was pretty actually complicated and like really technical and it was a really ex great experience to kind of get through it. I organized the pipeline that we did this. I mean we emulate a lot of other pipelines like similar to a lot of what Hollywood does with uh, compositing and... Avatar? You could say Avatar. Probably one of the most crazy projects I've ever worked on. This is going to start a trend in fashion or no? I think this is going to move forward. I think a lot of people are going to get inspired and come up with a lot of new ideas that are going to translate from the computer world to the fashion world. World. It's all going to be interactive. I think that all of it's going to really, really happen for the fashion world and the CG world. It's an incredible experience and really a sight to be held at the very end. How was it? It was amazing. So what do you think? Oh, I loved it. I thought it was hot. It was a phenomenal experience. It was definitely different. Something I've never seen before. That was really awesome. That's a uh, that was like pretty innovative and groundbreaking. It was really good. Yes, I actually uh, put it on my face because this is my first ever 3D show. So to bring out that type of innovation during Fashion Week, I thought was off the hook and on a whole nother level. And I enjoyed every single part. Of it. Congratulations. I'm Maria Palin and I'm here at Nolcha Fashion Week presenting the new collaboration with Care for Kenya and Show Me Your Mumu. These clothes have been made by women in Kenya using chiffon polyester blend fabric they've picked out themselves. The, all the proceeds are going to be going back to these women who helped make the clothes and also to the orphanages we're supporting in both Nairobi and near Kisumu where Mama Sarah Obama's organization is. We're trying to create sustainable education and income for these women in a relatively stagnant economy. Basically, we're trying to get scholarships for the kids in the orphanages so they can go to a four-year university, continue their education, and also to these women where there's really no jobs to provide, jobs that allow creativity and growth. Both of us, my wife and I, are from Kenya. Secondly, we support this project 100%, a project that empowers the women of Kenya, especially the women of Kenya that are disadvantaged, and all these materials have been prepared by the women in Kibera, one of the largest slums that you can think about uh, in Kenya. And these women have come out to make these wonderful dresses, wonderful dresses for the American market. We love the designs, the material, and we think that they're very saleable in the U.S. Uh, just because of the beauty of them, but also because many people do want to support the women in Kenya. And by supporting the women in Kenya, we're also supporting the children because they, they tend to be um, the head of the family in many situations and they're able to earn money that they can help feed their families, send their children to school, and just help build up the communities. I was here at the UN for many years as the ambassador, and we continue to support all projects for women so that women are empowered, that women know their roles, that women become independent so that the women can play a leading role in society. Support Care for Kenya, especially the founder, Ms. Dalila Farina, the board members, and all the people of Care for Kenya. Thank you very much. My name is davidjr.com.